Hi friends, welcome to this legs, abs, booty, cardio burner workout. This is a fusion workout, which means we are going to be combining strength exercises, so really getting that muscle burn, with cardio exercises that are really gonna help us to get our sweat on. Let's get straight into it. We're kicking it off with a warm up. We have six different exercises, 30 seconds of each exercise, no breaks in between, so the warm-up goes for a total of three minutes. I'll take you through exercise number one and then we'll get into it. So we're gonna start with hip circles. We're standing up nice and tall. One knee comes up in front, circles all the way around, then we bring the feet together. Other knee comes up and then circling the other way. Now I'm gonna be tracking this whole workout on my Samsung smartwatch. And I've actually got a quick link on my home screen to circuit training. So nice and easy to get started. Are you ready? Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Here we go. One knee up, circle around and other side. So this is a really nice exercise to introduce that hip mobility, open up the hip joint, Activate the glutes as well. So as you pull the knee back, try and keep the hips nice and stable. And we're trying to get that knee up nice and high. So drawing nice big circles with the kneecap. Okay, getting ready for exercise number two in three, two, one. Okay, coming into a squat and then reach. So really opening up the side body, changing to the other side. Really reach up nice and tall. Take that big breath through the side ribs, so really stretching through the sides of the body, sitting into the heels, keeping the chest up nice and tall as you sit down. Okay, getting ready for the next exercise in three, two, one. Okay, coming to our downward dog position here. Step forward into a nice long lunge, step it back, and then change to the other side. So really focusing on stepping that foot nice and far forward. So outside the hands, really focusing on opening up the hips, lower the hips as you lunge and then push nice and strong through the hands as you push back to downward dog. Fingertips pressing down, getting ready to change. All right, here we go, flipping it over to our tabletop. So fingertips pointing backwards, push through the heels. So warming up the glutes here, make sure you pull your belly button in at the top so we don't overwork the lower back. Roll the shoulders back at the top so you'll get a little bit of a stretch through the front of the shoulder joints here as well. Okay, getting ready to stand up in a three, two, one. Okay, coming into arm circles. So starting forward, really reaching through the fingertips. Try and breathe through the front of the chest so we're warming up our breathing here as well. And let's change, so going backwards now. See if you can really reach the fingertips back, open up through front body. Again, taking those nice deep breaths. Coming into our final exercise, ready? Here we go, groin stretch. So hands on the inside of the legs here. Try and split the knees nice and wide. So we're opening up through the hip joints again. Keep the chest up nice and tall. Sink the hips low. Last few reps here. Final five seconds. Three, two, one. And that's time, well done. Stand up, shake it out, grab a drink of water if you need it. Oh, how are we going? Woo, okay, heart rate is at 130. We're nice and warm. Okay, we are going to get into our first circuit. So the title of this workout is Legs, Abs, Booty. So I've got a circuit for each area of the body. This first one is going to be focusing on legs. So we have three strength exercises and one cardio exercise. We will do 45 seconds of our strength exercise and go straight into 30 seconds of cardio, go back into our 45 seconds of strength exercise and flip it back to cardio. So we're mixing it up between those two styles. I'll take you through our first exercise and then we'll get straight into it. 
So we're starting with squat to toes. Remember, this is our strength exercise. So we wanna slow it down and focus on technique. Come into a squat position with the feet. We're gonna squat down, hands are in front of us. Rise up onto the toes, back down, stand up tall. So hips down, right up onto the tippy toes and then standing up nice and tall. Okay, let's get ready. 45 seconds here. Three, two, one, let's go. Sit it down, right up onto the toes. Heels come down, then stand tall. So really feel like you're sinking the hips here. And at the same time, the knees are rolling outwards. So squeezing the knees outwards really helps to activate the glutes. So working on that booty. But of course, in this exercise, you will be feeling your quads working as well, your inner thighs, your hamstrings, and of course, those calves as well, because we are coming up onto the toes. Good. Sit into the heels as you sit down. Okay, last little bit here. Keep it slow and controlled. Three, two, one. Well done, stand up. We're gonna come straight into cardio. So we're coming into heel taps. Let's go straight into it. If you would like to come into a higher intensity version, we're gonna go quicker. So 30 seconds here, just try and push as hard as you can. Keep going, try not to stop. I'll give you a little rest after this. <laughs> Good, keep it up. Again, if you wanna no impact variation, we're just stepping side to side. You're almost there. Three, two, one, time. All right, a little bit of a breather. I'm gonna show you the next strength exercise. We're coming into curtsy lunge. So standing with the feet parallel, cross behind the body, touch the inside heel, come back to center, over to the other side. All right, let's get ready. Stand tall. Three, two, one, here we go. Touch the inside heel and stand. Nice. So really think about squeezing your back here and keeping your chest open. So we don't wanna round over the front leg because this is gonna completely switch the glutes off. So keep the chest up, squeeze the back. So look out in front of you. Nice work. Push into the front heel, stand up nice and tall. So front toe is pointing forward. So a really nice way to get a little bit more glute activation because we are moving side to side here. Last one, that's time. All right, we're going straight into that cardio exercise. Let's go, heel taps. So keep moving. Remember, you can regress to this marching option. Otherwise, if you wanna go for leather, come into the high intensity version, that's it. Keep it up, you got this. Again, I'll give you a little bit of a breather after this one, and then we're coming into our last strength exercise. Go, go, go. And that's time, well done. Okay, we have one more strength exercise, one more cardio exercise, and then we're done with this circuit. So coming into a hinge squat. Feet are gonna come out into squat position, hands to prayer, elbows tucking into the knees. We're gonna lower the hips, See if you can get them lower than the knees and then extend as much as you can. So elbows are always squeezing into the knees. We're moving nice and slowly. Again, notice my back is activated and I'm not hunching forward. So really try and squeeze the back, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Let's get ready. Elbows into the knees, hands to prayer. Three, two, one, let's go. Hips down, push into the heels. Knees rolling outwards. As you hit, sit the hips down, try and look up. Nice. Again, squeeze the back. Breathe. Slow it down. So remember, this is the strength exercise. We want to think about that technique. Try not to rush it. Woo, I am really feeling this. My heart rate's at like 160. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Good work. Keep it up. Final 10 seconds. So see if you can get those hips a little bit lower. Feel that leg burn. Hips up. Nice. Okay, final rep here. 
And that's time, all right, you know what we're doing, into the cardio, let's go. So 30 seconds, let's push as hard as we can. After this, we get to rest our legs, we're gonna move on to abs, so let's push. Good work, keep it up. Keep that chest tall, try and get those heels up nice and high. Roll the knees out. So really good exercise for activating the glutes as well because those knees are rolling out. Let's go. And that's time. Well done. Have a breather, grab a sip of water if you need it. Oh wow, felt that. Okay, 170. <laughs> Burner. Alrighty. So like I mentioned, we are moving on to abs now. Exactly the same format. 45 seconds of strength, 30 seconds of cardio. So first exercise is a sit-up pulse. So lying down on your mat, feet anchoring down to the ground and coming all the way to lying. Hands are going to rest on your thighs. We're sliding the hands to the knees. So really activating through the core, draw the belly button in, round the shoulders forward. Then we slowly lower until the fingertips are just touching the knees and then lift, wrists touching the tops. So fingers touching, wrists touching. So that tiny pulse up and down. Okay, let's get ready. So hands on the thighs, tuck the chin in. Three, two, one, let's go. Scoop the belly button, find your wrists and then lower down and up. If you feel like your feet are lifting here and it's really hard to keep them on the ground, step the feet a little bit further away from the body. That is really gonna to help to anchor down through your feet, keep that stability. So really scoop the belly, especially as you lower down. Feel like the lower back is pressing down into the mat. Remember to breathe. And again, this is our strength exercise, so slow it down. Really think about how your body is moving. Three, two, one. Well done, let's come into our cardio exercise. So we're flipping it over to a plank. We're going to cross opposite knee to elbow, so cross across the body, other side, and then we're gonna go wide. Wide, cross across, across, wide, wide. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Cross, cross, wide, wide. Feel free to alternate, or if you just wanna stay with a mountain climber, you can do that too. Nice work, keep it up. I feel like the different patterns kind of occupy, occupy my mind, so I'm not really thinking too much about how hard it is. Hopefully that helps you too. You're almost there. Three, two, one, time, okay. Flip it over, we're moving to our next strength exercise. So, hands are coming behind the head, link the fingers. Hold the head heavy into the hands. Elbows are into your peripheral vision and pull your shoulder blades down. So shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna bring the feet into a froggy position. Scoop the belly. Coming into a frog kick, kicking the legs long, squeeze, and then bring them back in. If you feel any pressure through your lower back, you're simply going to kick the legs a little bit higher. So that's gonna put less pressure in the lower back. Get ready, three. Two, one, let's go. Kick it out and back in. So the key with this exercise is to really press the lower back down. So I want you to feel that belly button scooping inwards, especially as you extend the legs long. And again, if you feel anything in the lower back, we are simply gonna kick up higher, yeah? Keep scooping the belly, lower back is pressing down. 15 seconds to go. I also like to think of it as really trying to press the back of my rib cage down into the ground as well. So feel like the back of your rib cage is really heavy down into your mat. Nice work. That's time. All right, you know what to do. Flip it over, come into our cardio. Three, two, one. Here we go. Cross, cross, 
wide, wide. So find that rhythm. Ry rhythm. <laughs> Try and keep your head up as well. So looking to the top of your mat, keep that spine long. Fingertips are pressing down. Now, if you're finding this exercise really tough, you can just hold plank. If you're feeling anything in your wrists, you can also come down to elbow plank and do the same movement. Three, two, one, that's time. Well done. Flip it over, we have one more exercise. So coming into a tuck scissor combo. We're going to sit right up onto the sitting bones, hold onto the knees, come out, scissor, cross, cross, bring it back in. Out, scissor, bring it back in. If you wanna make this exercise tougher, so really get that ab burn, you're gonna come out, cross, cross, cross as many times as you can. And then when you need a break, you can bring it in. Okay, let's get ready. We've got 45 seconds here. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice work. So if you want to, you can even stay in this scissor, but we wanna make sure the belly button is scooping and you're not feeling anything in the lower back. If you need a little break, you can come into that tuck. Or if you just wanna keep moving, tuck out, scissor, bring it back in. So a nice opportunity to get what you want out of this workout. So creating those variations in these exercises to really make it work for you. Well done. Remember, back of the rib cage is heavy. So really rounding through the spine, belly button is drawing inwards. Last one, that's time. Okay, final ab cardio exercise three. Two, one, here we go, cross, cross, wide, wide. Okay, let's try and keep moving the entire time. Remember, if you need to, you can come down onto elbows. And if you can't move your legs, we're just holding plank. So let's try and get through this, finish it off nice and strong. Breathe, keep your head up. Three, two, one, that's time. Woo, alrighty. Again, grab a sip of water if you need it. Have a bit of a break. Woo. Wow. I'm at about 165, that was tough. Heart rate is going crazy, but that's what we want. We're working hard. Okay, last circuit, lucky last. We are coming into one of my favorite areas to train, which is booty. So, for this one, exactly the same structure, but we have four exercises instead of three for the strength. And that's simply because we're doing left and right side. So I'll explain exercise number one, then we'll get into it. So we are starting with a single leg explode. Left leg is down on the ground. We are going to bend that leg to touch the inside heel. So you can rest the back foot down on the ground if you need. Come into this position so you know what you should be feeling. So we're touching the inside heel, but I want you to feel like the belly button is pulling into the thigh. So we're really folding at the hips and we're not rounding the spine. So you don't wanna get into this position. Squeeze the shoulder blades, keep the chest open, touch the inside heel, and then we're going to explode into a high knee. So that back leg comes up, Opposite left arm is in front. So come down, touch and explode. Really squeeze that left bottom as you stand up. Okay, let's get ready. Left foot down, three, two, one. Here we go, so touch and explode. So really important to get that folding at the hips, so belly button towards the thigh, because that is going to put the glute on stretch. And we really wanna make sure we're stretching the glutes because we're stretching those muscle fibers and then contracting them really quickly. So that really gives us that forceful contraction, really stimulates the muscle and encourages the muscle to get stronger. <sighs> Explode up. Good, when you stand chest up. And try and move a bit quicker with the arms as well. That's gonna help you explode through the legs a bit more. Again, back foot can come down. That's time. All right, let's come into our cardio. 
Start at the side of your mat. You're going to touch with the opposite hand. Shuffle to the other side, touch. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Side to side. Okay, now when you do this exercise, again, we don't want to be rounding through the spine. So no gorillas here. We want to make sure that belly button is coming forward and the shoulders are rolling back. Chest is open, so look forward. Again, that is going to help us. Whoop, that is going to help us to get the glutes on stretch, to activate those glute muscles rather than our lower back firing up. That's time. Well done. Okay, we are coming into explodes on the other side. Right leg down. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. And explode. So as you stand up, really think about pushing through the right heel. And then as you sit down, bottom slides back, belly button to the right thigh. So really folding at the hip. Almost like you're trying to spread your butt cheeks behind you. So the butt cheeks are almost trying to point to the top corners of the room. Nice work. Slowly lower. Nice work, keep going, you've got it. Try and keep your balance. My balance is definitely worse on this leg. Ah, that's time. All right, let's come into that shuffle. Three, two, one, here we go. So try and keep your chest open. Breathe through the front of your chest, look up. Getting those hips down nice and low. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Nice work. Let's finish it off. Come on, 10 seconds. Try not to let your spine round. I know you're getting tired, but let's finish off this. Let's do it right. That's time. Okay. Final exercise we're going to do left and right side. So you're going to come down into a quadruped position. Take a big breath. Okay, right leg. We're gonna come out into a fire hydrant. Kick the leg straight, lower, lift, bend it back in. Kick out, lower, lift, bend it back in. Now, if you want a little bit more stability, step the hands to the edges of your mat, so a bit wider. Scoop the belly, try and keep your rib cage tucked in at all times. Three, two, one, right leg up. Kick it out, lower, up, back in. Try and pull your shoulders away from the ears and look up to the top of your mat. Now, if the extending the leg is too much, you're just gonna come down and up into a regular fire hydrant. If you really want that challenge, I encourage you to kick the leg out and then bring it back in. Good work, stay with me, 15 seconds. Again, don't let those shoulders creep up to the ears. Pull the shoulders away. Keep your back activated. Belly button pulling in. You're almost there. Last one. That's time. Okay, standing up. You know what to do. We're in cardio. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right, let's finish this off. So get together all that energy you have. Keep your chest up, stay proud. You can do this. We're gonna get through this together. Hip slow, squeeze the back, belly button pulling forward. Good, 15 seconds to go. Keep going, stay low. Sit into the heels as you touch the ground. Keep pulling the belly forward and down. Almost there. That's time. Okay, final strength exercise. We're gonna do the left leg. Arms out nice and wide. Woo. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So it's so nice to be able to see how my body is reacting during this workout. So how my heart rate is, is responding. At the end of this workout, I'm also going to show you a bit of a summary of the workout on my Samsung. So I'll show you 
just how hard we work today. <sighs> Keep it up, you've got it. Again, option to also just come into regular fire hydrant if you need to. Keep those shoulders pulling away from the ears. <sighs> you've got it. <sighs> Three, two, one. Okay, standing up. Let's do this together. Final cardio. Ready? Let's go. Okay, let's finish off nice and strong. I want you to keep moving. So even if that means just little side steps across your mat, whatever it is, don't stop now. You've done all the hard work. Finish off strong. So really stepping into your heels, whatever variation you are doing. Belly button is pulling down, so keep the spine nice and long. Three, two, one. Oh, and that's time. Quick little stretch to cool us down. Well done. We are going to step the left foot forward, right leg back. Try and tuck the pelvis under. So pull the belly button in, squeeze the right bottom, and then push the hips forward. So feeling that nice big stretch through the hip flexor. Taking this opportunity to take some bigger breaths. So I hope you enjoyed that workout. We definitely hit all of my favorite areas to train legs, abs, and booty. Bring the hands to the inside of the front foot. Slide the back foot back even more. So nice long lunge. You might want to walk the hands a little bit closer to your hips. Keep the chest up, hips sinking down, squeeze the back, keep breathing. Whew. So my average heart rate was about 140 throughout that workout. So definitely a really nice cardio bracket to be in. Starting to lower that heart rate now as well, which is really nice. So bringing that body into recovery mode now, let's slide the hips back and forward. So getting a little bit more into the hamstrings here, really open the chest as you come forward, push the hips back, pull the belly button down as you slide back. Two more times. And then come into kneeling, change to the other side. So find your kneeling position. Tilt the pelvis backwards, scoop the belly button, squeeze the left bottom hands, rest on the front knee. Again, slowing down that heart rate, taking those big breaths. So really important to allow your body to cool down. So stretching is a great way to incorporate your flexibility training as well in your day-to-day -day life. I know it can be really hard to just randomly stretch throughout the day. So Simply do it before or after your workout. It's a really nice way to be efficient with your stretching. And you're working out anyway, so you might as well work on your flexibility. Okay, bring the hands on the inside of your front foot. Slide the back knee back a little bit more. Really come into that deep lunge. You might want to walk the hands a little bit closer to the hips. Keep the chest up. Big breath. So really trying to bring more oxygen into the body. So the deeper you breathe now, the more you are going to oxygenate the blood and again, help with that recovery process. Okay, let's start to slide the hips back and forward. So take your time, no rush. Really puffing the chest forward as you slide forward and then hips slide back, belly button pulls towards the thigh. Let's go for two more. And then coming back onto both knees, rolling back onto the feet, let's grip onto the elbow. So you can keep your legs straight here. That is going to give you a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. Otherwise, if you want to bend the knees, you can. So pressing belly and chest to your thighs, this will give you a little bit more of a release in the lower back. You can also mix it up between the two. So bending and straightening, whatever feels good in your body today. Let's take one more big breath in and out. And then bending your knees until your hands touch your mat, tucking chin into chest, rolling up to standing. 
Well done. Let's have a quick look at my stats. So we went for a total of 29 minutes, 230 calories. So that's massive. Our heart rate as well. So max heart rate was 169 with an average of about 140. So pretty tough workout. And then we've also got our heart rate zones here. There is a more detailed workout breakdown here on the Samsung Health app. So this will be stored in the app, which means I can always come back and look at all of my stats. This includes a full heart rate variable breakdown. So we can see that the last circuit, so that booty circuit really got me. That's where I hit uh, the max heart rate. Um, I hope you guys felt that too. And then our heart rate zone. So we can see that we spent most of the time in that aerobic cardio zone. Wow, that was a killer workout. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you next time.